And if I told you once, I ain't gonna tell you twice. Salute all my real ones. Yeah. Look, bro, we got the stock market crash of 2008. So this video popped up on my on my feed on YouTube, and I was like, hmm, let's react to it. Why? Because um, you know, I'm into stocks, I'm into crypto and all of that stuff. And right now, 2022, from January to May 1st, today's May 1st, it's been the worst start to a stock market since I've started investing. And I just learned that it's been the worst. It was the worst April since 1970. So the worst April in 50 years and the worst start uh, the stock market had the worst start to a year since the Great Depression or World War Two. Um, that's trash. So when I so so it's crazy because it's like this popped up and I'm like, I right, well I could react to this because um, obviously you know what I'm saying I was around but I wasn't paying attention to the stock market. I didn't give a damn. So um, I figured let's see what they're gonna say and let's react to it. But before we do that, oh I do gotta say make sure you diversify your bonds. Uh, who said that on the Chappelle show? I think it was one of the Wu Tang rappers. Diversify your bonds. Make sure you get some ETFs in your life. This is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just saying it's a good idea to get some ETFs, some mutual funds, some, you know what I'm saying, company stocks, get your crypto up. You know what I'm saying? I don't really rock with NFTs because I just don't. But it is what it is. Before we do that, like button, subscribe, our notification bell, press those. Let's go. Apple's up more than 6% right now. Google about 3%. Yo, Apple was worth $142, bro. Isn't Apple like in the thousands now? Microsoft, $25. That's crazy. Rim, pause, rim job, pause. Uh, Rim, which is Blackberry, $107. Google, isn't Google, is it Google or is it Amazon that's worth 3,000? One of them, but that's crazy. Said, but Dell, Intel, Research Motion, and Microsoft are all to the upside. Look how strong. Did not disappoint, 400 points higher. Yes, indeed, the market's roar higher. Last 30 minutes of trading as volatility once again rules the day. Most of the volatility rules the day. And I feel like that's all we've been dealing with since like December something. It's been nothing but volatility. And then crypto's pissing me off because crypto was supposed to be um, the hedge against inflation or the hedge against the stock market. And it was supposed to replace gold. And I'm not I'm not pumping fig. You know what I'm saying? Like there are a lot of people that are on YouTube that know way more about this stuff than I do. I'm just saying all the stuff that crypto was promoted to be, it hasn't been so far. But what I will say is the price of Bitcoin and all the other cryptos are down right now. So by the dip, by the dip, by the dip is what I'm trying to do. Let's go. Text this morning, if not all of them have just exploded to the... One point seven percent here, a loss of thirty seven points or so. Apple shares are just getting hammered this morning. We're down by between three and four and a half percent generally across these markets. Let's talk about the speed with which we are watching this market deteriorate. We're red everywhere, essentially down by four, five percent. We're down over sixteen percent. Dow sixteen percent, bro. That's crazy because I know I know the stock market right now is down like fourteen percent for the year. Yo, listen, I love movies. The Big Short margin call if y'all want to see basically within a two-hour movie broken down what was going on um especially because history tends to repeat itself especially if we ignore it margin call and the big short two movies that you guys have to watch um if if y'all want like a more you know, movie-ish, like explain to you in a fun-ish kind of way, even though it's a serious subject, watch The Big Short. If y'all want it, want it just like straight up, just drama, watch Margin Call. But I would tell y'all to watch both. Um, 
16%. That's crazy in one day. Same time has fallen about 18%. The stock market is now down 21%. When so wait, so 21%. So normally don't do they like, don't they normally like stop trading? Like, I right, hold on. Like the sell off is too crazy. Cause that's what bum ass Robin Hood did. You know what I'm saying? And got people to distrust them. Like they stopped people from being able to continue pumping up uh, GameStop. Now down 43%. What in the world is happening on Wall Street? Two year no yields went from 190 to 166 in the blink of an eye. And the NASDAQ. Every it's crazy cause the stock market the, the the Dow Jones is at is at I, and I remember it went, it wound up going all the way down to sixty five hundred. So if that's eighty five hundred for for the Dow Jones Industrial, then it still got another two thousand points or twenty percent twenty yeah twenty something percent to shed. Um, but the stock market right now is at thirty two thousand something like that. It was at a half thirty six. So the fact that that yo I. I like people say that they don't live with regret. I regret the fact that, you know what I'm saying? Well, obviously I didn't know about this stuff and I was mad young, but I wish somebody had told me about investing and just like gave me a, a band, five, 10, a, a band for anybody that doesn't know is a thousand dollars, a thousand, ten thousand dollars to invest. Like everything and more has been completely wiped out. It was the worst day on Wall Street since the crash of 1987. From the financial capital. Uh, the one in 1987, it wasn't that one called Red Monday. It was just one bad day, like, like, the, like it dropped more than a thousand points or something crazy like that. But then it wound up bouncing back, like within, I don't know if it was like a, a few weeks, a few days or a few months. They bounced back. It's just one terrible day. This was the economy was was tanked by the banks because the banks were rolling in in money and selling something called derivatives. I, I actually know the topic well, um, but I won't explain it. But long story short, um, the banks took people that had. So, so they made up like these bonds, they're called tranches, whatever the hell. Man, watch the movie, they'll explain it. But basically, the banks was doing a bunch of shady stuff and people started foreclosing and then the, like nobody was tracking where where all of this was heading except for a few a, my, a small few people and those was those few people bet against the market and wound up make, being rich beyond your imagination and millions of people lost their homes and it threw the whole country into a crazy recession just based off of what the banks were doing of the world the opening bell is going to ring in uh, five seconds and to be honest with you we wish it red, would red, red. traders here working the phone say a lot of their customers are freaked out waiting to see how low the dow will go they're focused on the dow not so focused on opec yes opec did cut production by one and a half million barrels per day really you're seeing just broad-based declines across all of the major technology yeah, so so y'all see that 8200 that wound up getting all the way down to 6500 and it doesn't sound like a lot but you know what i'm saying 8500 but like, let's say if it was 8,000 and it went down to 6,000, you know what I'm saying? That's 25%, like, it's crazy. These sectors, Apple's under pressure, uh, Yahoo down 8.5%. And, and I think six, it started at 13,000. 6.5%, research in motion, 10%. And we're not getting the bid wanted, we're not getting the stop trading, and we see where the, where the buyers are. We're just, every day, they're pounding it. The heightened financial turmoil that we have experienced of late may well lengthen the period of weak economic performance and further increase the risk to growth. Can't look at it after you buy it, but, it's but, so horrible. But we've had an eight day losing streak in the Dow that in percentage terms puts it on par, close to the loss suffered in that crash in 1987, close to that percentage loss those two days in 1929. What started in America last year has now spread to every part of the world. Well, we're down 9% today, the Zetradax over in Frankfurt is down by 9%, the Paris market down by 9 
9%. Austria, which was briefly suspended earlier on in the day, is down by nearly 11%. This market is as volatile as you'll ever see. Traders saying this is the craziest day they have ever seen in these markets. Veteran traders saying they've never seen anything like it. The movement in oil prices so fast, so fast. Seconds ago until the start of trading at the New York Stock Exchange, and stocks are set to kick off lower, a whole lot lower. eBay is down 6.5%, and really you're seeing Man, just broad-based That's broad -based crazy. Decline. Look, Apple is under $100, bro. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where's my phone? Where's my phone? Where's my phone? Hold on. Right back. Real time. Real time. We doing this real time. Because you see Apple, well, Yahoo is at $11. Apple is at is at 157 but i think they did stock splits so um for 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 people that don't know long story short um like companies who split their stocks so like like let's say you know they had 10 million stocks they'll split it i don't know if i'm explaining it right so they'll split it like let's say to 100 million but it'll still be worth the same it's just um, gonna bring down the average. I don't know, man. Y'all can look it up. They did a stock split. Like, uh, like I should be better able to explain this stuff. Um, eBay is at. I don't know. I see the four, but that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy. Like, and um, I have a strong feeling that you know we're about to experience a lot of pain in the next few days, especially because. You know what? I'm gonna have to post this video tomorrow, uh, cause on Wednesday the Fed is gonna um raise rates, and I think it's, it's gonna be a horrible week. But hopefully I'm wrong, because boy, I'm tired of seeing red in my portfolio. Tired of seeing red, bro. Just tired of it. But yeah, man, let me know what y'all thought of the video. Let me know if y'all want to see me react to more stuff like this, cause this like like. Um, you know, investing and all of this stuff, like it really interests me. So I don't mind speaking about it. But yeah, man, we gonna leave it there. My name is Rain. Catch you on the flip side. RCP salute. Wait for it. Dab on him.